Sweet. Okay, the next one we're going to do is we're going to do three in a series, and they're all going to be making a large or an allowance for a large thigh. However, depending on whether you carry your weight down the outside of your thigh, unilaterally around, around the edge, around the circumference of your thigh, because maybe you're a runner or a power lifter, or on the inside of your thigh, because that's where ladies tend to carry the extra weight in their thighs, will depend on what part of the thigh we're gonna make this correction on. So we're gonna start with a correction on the outseam. This is if you have more weight, if you have a rounder a glute muscle, a lower glute muscle, it feeds into your thigh, um, you carry your weight high at your thigh, but it just kind of extends from your hip line and you need to have a little bit more room out there. So if we're doing that, we're gonna be working all here in the out seam. And we do not want to make a really short cut because has anybody ever seen English uh, equestrian jumpers and the pants they wear? We're not riding, making riding joppers. That's what we're not making. So we don't want bubble butt. We don't want riding joppers. We want to keep this hip smooth, the hip curve as smooth and as subtle as we can. So doing seam method, even though the book has us come in here and just cut the seam, I'm going to have you start all the way at the knee. And we're going to be going until about halfway between hip and waist. Make a couple of relief cuts, but make a couple of really good ones right here in the thigh area. Now, how do you know where on the thigh that you need to be adding this extra? We're gonna be doing a quarter inch adjustment for a large thigh. So does that mean we're adding a quarter of an inch or taking out a quarter of an inch? Adding, because we're making it for large, right? So where in this thigh area are you going to add it? How do you know? You have this information for your body. On your measurement chart, you should have taken a measurement from your waist to where your full thigh measurement was taken. And so you would measure from this point right here down to where the full thigh was taken and that is where you would add that measurement. This is your knee, this is your crotch line. So you're, if you're a man, it's probably gonna be somewhere in here. If you're a lady, it's probably gonna be somewhere up in here, okay? But your body measurement chart, you know exactly where that is. For theory, I'm just gonna add it right here. So I would make sure my paper lays flat, that I have the quarter inch adjustment right at thigh line where I want that to be. And then back down at the knee, I want it back at original seam line. Okay, can you see how that keeps our hip curve and our thigh curve here just really straight, even, and subtle? If we didn't start this until here, we'd have a really weird curve that we'd have to be correcting. And we'd have to smooth out and extend that and it would go almost to the knee anyway. If you're doing this on a full pair of pants, I recommend you make this cut all the way at the ankle, just so you can make that curve as smooth as possible. Then I would just cut this out and label it. This is going to be 20. It is a large thigh at the side and it is the seam method. 